meant to check the back. to see Mr. Roth. Weapons? No, thank you. I've got my own. You should be on the stage, sir. This way. Let's make magic tonight, my lads. Ah, our honored guest has arrived. Come, sit. I've had my eye on you for some time. I find your heroics in battle in the great Crawford Steric quite magnificent. I've been picking off your soldiers one by one. Doesn't that make you angry? On the contrary. Surprise is a spice of life. Now, Mr. Steric, that's a different story. I'm drowning in directives, all terribly pouring. Let's say we work together and bring him down. <sighs> I'm not so sure about that. My friend, if I fail to provide you with the chance to cause Staric some pain, well, you can charge into this theater and kill me yourself. What do you get out of all this? The chance to have a little fun with the bravest man in London. <laughs> you have a deal. <laughs> Lewis, my carriage. Shall we? This way. Oh, you don't expect me to go alone, do you? Take the reins. Driver, to St. Pancras. And don't spare the horses. I thought you and Staric would be fighting for the same ends. What happened? Ah, uh, you know. He required my services to train his gang leaders. But the man is dreadful. You don't say. Freedom, Jacob. Stealing that is far more than a sin. It denies us our humanity. Right, you are. And St. Pancras will ease our suffering? The station contains a large shipment of explosives to be dispatched to Staric and Co. And you intend to steal it? What? No. I intend to blow it. There's a train parked inside St. Pancras. Then I'm to do away with Starek's merchandise, leaving chaos in my wake? Why not, Jacob? Why not? As we speak, the up train is headed towards us. That may help you enter the station unseen. As long as it remains on the tracks. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. I shall make certain any reinforcements from Steric are kept away from the station.
and done this one. Someday, you blighters will understand that I'm doing this for your own good. Shame to stop now. Shipment left. I see someone. What's he doing here? to find somebody to drive this hunk of metal. I've created too much noise. I'll need to keep a low profile. to make a fuss. What do you want from me? I just need you to keep the engine stoked. All right, I'll help you. Don't hurt me. Thank you. 
be so kind as to get it some steam. Starrick will be on his knees in no time. My hat is off to you. Apologies, I must run. Do come see me again. second out in for us. Have you? There's borrowing to be done. Three of Starrick's henchmen are about to disappear. Oh, you sly devil. Oh, and I'm coming along this time. There is no sense in giving you all the glory. Off to my carriage we go. Lewis! Fools and hysteric have built their own prisons. It's a dreadful waste. They could be building gangs instead. No, oh no. Why build when you can ebb and flow like the sea? I would not deign to pin them down. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? What about your bird? It's not built. Death, to say I shall never tire of the National Gallery. Why does Starrick interest himself with art? He's hired a fiendishly talented... Bring your carriage around and wait for the cargo. I shan't be very long. Someone around here must know Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I'm looking for Miss Hattie Cadwallader. Ain't seen her. I knows what she's been up to, though. And what's that? Friggin' art, sir. She finished a statue. The statue must be around here somewhere. Hey, small Molly. Know anything about what happened here? I saw who painted it, sir. Miss Cadwallader? She hides down the sewers, sir. Of course it's serious. Why the bloody sewers? Delivery's on its way. And tell him too that I've grown tired of these working conditions. Ah!
delivery's on its way. And tell him, too, that I'm growing tired of these working conditions. Wasn't Staric who sent me? Then who? Take your hands off me, so You'll be sorry! Hush, madam. Then who? Maxwell Roth sent his regards. Oh, leave up or you'll be sorry! Shh! Why, Miss Cadwallader? What a pleasant surprise. You'll be hearing... You'll be hearing from Mr. Staric, Roth. Why the Alhambra? I look forward to it. Every good criminal needs a place to invest his ill-gotten gains. And what's better than distracting the world with a little live entertainment while you do so? Oh, come now. You can't tell me you don't enjoy the triumph of a well-received play. The plaudits and praise, the reviews. I enjoy... Ah, the park. The dwelling place of Staric's head of security, one Benjamin Raffles. Those who cross him tend to disappear without warning. Sounds like we'll be fast friends. Be careful. His guards are never far away. Who is this Lyris that works for you? Ha! A bit of an odd fish, isn't he? Came to me a few years past. He's very solid. But always so polite. And he has many other talents. Whoa! Who am I looking for? Chester Swinehorn. A copper by day and snitch by night. Remove him from the pack, and you cut Steric's ties to the police force. Must be good bit of what he does to keep the charade going for so long. He is indeed, dear boy. Give me goose flesh. Welcome to Scotland, Yard. Swineborn, let's not make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, but I am. Huh? Where are you taking me? A friend would like to say a quick how do you do. Hush. Let's see what's happening. Someone's up to no Cease good. Desist. Quiet, please. Huh? You Cease and really desist. Let Hush. Go. Cease and desist. Shame. Hush. Now, it's into the back with you. 
Excellent work. Do come find me at the Elabra. I have more amusements planned for us. <laughs> 